Here's a little video about Tanuki, the lazy, party-hungry spirits with incredible transforming powers and absolutely enormous balls that they use like Jake's skin in Adventure Time. I got a bunch of TikToks for it, and I finally watched the movie Pom Poco. If you haven't seen it, it's really fantastic and you should. But these weird little guys really aren't used in a lot of fiction these days, outside of the sinister trio of undying debt collectors. So I wanted to throw out some lore and history and powers and stuff so that us gamers and writers can bring some some of them back. Also, I've played D&D with 40-year-old dudes over like a few beers, and the idea of a trickster goblin raccoon dog that fights with their ball sack is hilariously right up their alley. So the question is begged, what be a tanuki? If you didn't know, in Japan they're real dogs that look like raccoons, behave like cats, and have myths like foxes. It's, it's just a bunch of really cute little guys. In mythology, they're mischievous shapeshifters whose sole purpose is to have a good time. I think at one time they were like forest deities. I mean, imagine heading out into the woods and the locals warn you about the wrath of the forest spirits that you could incur, and then you go and you slip on a rock and drop a Snickers wrapper on the ground, and instead of some giant god or great elk devil, a two foot tall guy flies at you in a parachute made of his own testicles, and then you get your shit rocked as he bludgeons you ball style while drinking sake. I love that their whole set of folklore is just being fat fuzzy dudes with big hats, big smiles, and an itch to mess with people. Here's some quick ones. A tanuki who turns into a bottle of wine, but whenever someone goes to grab it, it just rolls out of the way. A tanuki who sings a little song over a hill, asking if he can be carried on your back. And when a guy says yes, the tanuki drops an entire tree on his back. So the guy goes up the hill and comes back down to cut the tree up, and then the tree turns into a tanuki and it says, oh, well shit man, I'm, I feel bad now. One just disguised itself as a monk, but one day got too tired and took a nap, so everyone saw his true form. And when he woke up, they were just like, yeah man, you, you work here now, that's fine. And there's another one that's just the rabbit from Mario. Speaking of Mario, he's got that tanuki form that lets him fly around, using his, his tail. But that's, that's not Mario's tail. In the Mario movie, Super Mario Mario uses a magic tanuki leaf to stretch his ball sack to be longer than his legs, swings it around so fast he can fly, and literally slaps the bullet bill in the eyeball with his fuzzy scrotal tail. I'd be, I'd be pretty pissed too. The little leaf motif comes from the idea that they sometimes need leaves in order to transform themselves or other things, like a spell focus in D&D. Since D&D doesn't have them, I put them in stibbles, so here's the page for free. It's a couple years old, so I'd at least add that they can turn into items and they can feather fall with their hairy ball. If I understand correctly, the most important traits of these incredible creatures are as follows. A straw hat, with which to find the One Piece. Big eyes, all the more to look at you with. A sake gourd, all the better to get blasted with. Oh yeah, their tails are important too, I guess that's the thing. And also, of course, big swinging balls. There's even a song about how they swing. I also think that ACDC wrote a song about Tanuki. And then they also got a big fat belly, a friendly smile, and a promise to repay any debt that they incur. That's sort of a cute detail. They're relaxed, love bad habits, and are super forgetful, but they always mean well. I like the idea of Tanuki side characters who accidentally screw up the adventurer's journey and then constantly promise to make it right. But in doing so, they keep messing up. Or they forget until they see the adventurers in the next town. Alternatively, you could just have a big old village of Tanuki who party all the time. Or like a vendor who travels around and carries all of his stuff in his terry flaps. Any encounter could start with a drunken sleeping tanuki on the side of the road, or one of them finding their way into the party's inventory as an art piece, or one of them just approaching the party in a strange disguise. They're also known for playing the drums, mainly their fat bellies or their balls as they party. And that drumming sounds like Pom Poco. Did you know that the English cast for this movie is fucking crazy? It's got J.K. Simmons, Clancy Brown, Tress McNeil, Kevin, Maurice, John, that's basically Tanuki, just go, go watch the movie.